and how Bobby flew from equipped to endure. Well, I'm going to show you now is a uh, tripod lashing. A really good technique to use if you want to set up a shelter, if you want a tripod for over the top of your fire. Um, what I usually do a girth hitch on this. I'm not going to. All I'm going to do is I'm going to tie just a, a regular overhand knot. Watch. Okay, there's a granny knot. Simple as that. It's not... Uh, the reason why I'm tying a knot like this instead of a square knot, a square knot sometimes tends to be hard to actually undo, and, and, and the whole thing is you want to be able to reuse your cord. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all three of these together, and I'm going to wrap it. doesn't matter. You can do as many wraps as you want, however many you feel comfortable with, or right. how, many, string. how much string you have. If, if, if you're going to hang a lot of weight from this, you want to go four, five, six times or, or, or more, but it, it really depends on how much cordage that you have in the field. So then what I do is I go down in between this one here. This is, that was called my wrap. Okay, then I'm going to pull the, the, the line out. I'm going to go back down through again, back up through. Then what I'm going to do is, always keeping your tag ends clean, and I'm going to pull it tight. If you're having a hard time getting your line down, you just separate the bottom. Pull it tight. I'm going to go to the other side. And if you're having trouble, you just separate the bottom. Pull it up through. Do the same thing on this side. We've been using this 550 cord for what, four days now? And it's just, it's just unbelievable stuff. I'm going to go one more time. And I'm going to tie it off. The reason why I'm leaving this long piece here, and I'll show you why, when I get it set up, slip knot. Now what I'm going to do is stand it up. This is the most important part of the whole thing is getting this right. Getting these to weave where they're supposed to. Right. It needs to stretch the string out just like this. This has to come over the top of this, like that. And this comes this way. Right. Just pull this this way. And, and there's a the tripod. Right. Without question, this right here is strong enough. If you were to put another one over here, you put bracing on here, put a, a good heavy stick here, good heavy stick here, put one on top for your ridge line, throw a tarp over it, lay some sticks on there, there's a raised bed. I've made this hooch quite a few times. I call it my hooch. I never have any trouble with it. I've been able to sleep on it. I've slept down in this for five and six days at a time. It's rained. I've had a tarp on these, these ends here you want to cut off a little okay, even. Now I could go taller with it so I can get myself up off the ground better. Or I can use this over top of a fire. If there's a fire there, I can actually tie a stick onto here. I can tie a stick onto here. And actually there will be my fire and I can move the stick up and down as I need to by rolling this. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this. This one's very sturdy. I've seen people use this with larger rope and actually pull engines out of cars with it where I live. So uh, if you really want to learn the tips and the techniques of how to do this, you really need to come with one of our courses. This is just really quick. I could, we could show you a ton more things that would you could use with this. Uh, one of the things uh, really quick is lashing a stick onto here, putting logs onto here, putting some sticks on the back, now you have a, a chair. 
If you make it bigger, you can make a couch. If you make it bigger, you can make a cot. Yeah. There's many things that you can do with this. I could set this whole thing up so I could lay on just this one side. Of course, there's some bracing that go onto this, and you have to drive it in the ground. But then I lay a tarp over the top of this. Now I'm laying on a raised bed lean to. Well, put some bracing on here. Uh, like I was telling you before, you could actually put a log on here and make a raised bed. So this is what the knot looks like. Done. I'm going to show you how to complete it. What I do is I tie this off. Okay. I'm trying to get here so that you guys can see it in the camera. And this is an old piece that we've been using. I'm just going to keep using it. So what I do is I go over on the top and around the back, keeping this off to the side so I don't ruin it, over the top, around the back on the top, and over, down through, around, over, just like that. Can you see that? Around. Just like making a basket. Right. And over the top. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come around here and I'm going to start wrapping it. Just like I did with the tripod lashing. And I'm going to make it nice and sturdy. I like tying these down at the bottom. Pulling them nice and tight. Right over left, left over right. Okay, now if you'll see this and how this acts, I can actually move the back a little bit. It tightens, this tightens the whole thing up. You can see this actually works at like a prusset. So I can actually get on here and this will not push down. So I can hold my whole weight in. Of course, I would take a little bit more time and get this nice and even. This is how we do this rapid frap. I can do this all the way around for bracing. You'd never have to worry about this. I can also use this wrap if I'm actually going to dry out beef jerky or fish or smoke something. I can actually use smaller sticks, wrap the same way I've done this, all the way around it, build my little fire in there, uh, put a tarp around it, and smolder it, and I'm smoking everything inside of this. This works really good. There are many, many uses for this. You really should come and, and learn this with us. Come on in, Mr. Harper. Good use for it right here. There you go. Show them that. It's a good use for a tripod. It's like most people have to hump their own chairs in and hump your own uh, stuff that you're going to have to be able to sit around your, you know, your camp and deal with things. You know, it's where you work, sort things out in the camp. You sort your uh, direction of movement. You sort out what your next day is going to be, and you're, you need a place to have comfort and without having to hump a chair you just make this chair it's a tripod just like that and you, we just interlace it with vines and it's good it's good it's perfectly comfortable you sit right there it's typically in the winter time it's real cold we had a big fire right there and we just move this thing around as we need it but good thing about this you just when you're done camp's over you sleep and if nobody comes through there throughout that year you'll have firewood for the next season it'll still be sitting there Beautiful. We're equipped to endure. I'm Madison Parker. I'm Bobby Blue. Blue. We're looking forward to having you guys come down and hang out with us for a, you know, a couple of weeks this winter. So uh, don't miss it. Uh, it probably be a lot of fun. Anyway, remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. And that is Madison Parker. <laughs>